Yo, yeah, what's up? You know who this is? Uh, it's two hours to 9 11, and uh, I hope, yeah, everybody know where that was and what it was doing when the plane started striking everything. Me, myself, I was in bed, uh, getting ready for work. I was like waking up, and I'm turning on the TV. I'm like, okay, what kind of movie is this? What kind of good movie is this? Because it's playing on every single channel. It's like a national whatever day. But it sat down when I was watching CNN. I was like, we under attack. So, I mean, that's when joy went to, like, fear, because you never know uh, what was going to go on. But, I mean, 9-11 is tomorrow, and all we can do, we can't do nothing, but all we can do is pray and be thankful of the firemen and police department and the people that sacrifice for us to keep our country safe, so that's all we can do. And for the people that lost a mother, a father, brother, sister, niece, nephew, grandparent, whatever, my prayers is with y'all because we you, you can't bring them back. So all we can do is just keep in, keep y'all in my prayers, and that's all that I can do to show how much you know. I care because ain't no money that's, that's going to take or replace a person, a living person. It's no money, no gold, no nothing that's going to replace a life. So all I can do is just pray. And uh, I think at the present of the time, uh, President Bush, he did a good job, even though I don't care much about him, but he did a pretty good job of keeping us safe. Um, I mean, it was just a sad day. I mean, and we still affect it because we still have the terror alerts, like the yellow alert, the orange alert, the red alert. We still have them. We are still affected. And for those that spiritual realm, we are living a holy war. This war is not over until we hear the trumpets. When we hear the trumpets, and that's when the war is really over. But until then, this war is going to continue to wrinkle our lives until the day we die because it's not over unless the uh, apocalypse comes tomorrow that's when it's over but until then the war is still you know going on it's a holy war y'all it ain't nothing about politics and this and that it's a holy war we live in, in the days of the holy war but at the same time we need to pay homage to the people that lost their lives 10 years ago. It's 10 years. It's been 10 years. I was 18 going on 19 when this happened. So it's been 10 years. You know, I mean, three states was affected real hard, but the whole nation was, you know, on high alert. And we still on high alert because that was the first time in 50 years that a terror attack had hit the United States since Pearl Harbor. It was 50 years back then, so it was 60, going on 61 years. But, I mean, you can't do nothing but pray and just pray. That, that's all you can do is pray. I don't, even, I don't even know how many times I said pray in, in, in this video, but all you can do is pray. We can't do nothing. So, I mean, just take, like, two minutes out your day tomorrow and just get on your knees and pray because it was a sad situation. It was a sad day for the United States. It was a sad day for Congress, the president, mayors, lawyers, whatever. Whatever occupation you have in this world, it was a sad day for America. So we in some happy times now. I mean, I think we like two, three steps into a civil war, basically, because everybody don't like Obama. I love the man, but some people don't, and they hating on him. So, I mean, it is what it is, but tomorrow, just take two minutes. I'm asking y'all to take two minutes, get on your knees, and pray, point blank. I don't care what religion you is. I don't care if you're Baptist. I don't care if you're Muslim. I don't care if you're Jewish, I don't care if you Buddhist, Hinduism, whatever. Get on your knees and pray. Because we pray to one God, but he has many names. I'm not going to get to preaching. <laughs> but uh, 
that's all. Yeah, the coach is going to be short and simple. This is my way of remembering 9-11. So, it is what it is. But all I ask for the people that's watching this, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, 120 seconds. Pray. Pray that you live in this country. Pray that you have better health. Pray that we got the bastard. And yes, y'all know who I'm talking about, Ben Laden. Because Obama did a real good job of getting that man. He paid off good. But just pray. That's all we can do is pray. Pray for a better tomorrow. Point blank. But uh, that's all I got to say about the situation. And uh, subscribe. So y'all have a blessed night, blessed day, blessed afternoon. And um, I mean, that's about it. I'll catch y'all on another one.